continuing to get projects done at a prodigious rate, uh, complete with fresh new crispy newspaper. Doesn't it sound better? Doesn't it sound like it's new and has, like it was freshly printed off the press? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that I want to explain something that's, um, been, uh, on my mind a little bit. After the election, things are starting to calm down a little bit, right? People are getting busy. Uh, the temper tantrums about, uh, losing an election stopped. People didn't get the candidate they wanted. And so they were really, 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 really mad about it. And now they've finally decided to stop and go to their room and do their homework or their work and stuff. And I'm here to tell you, as the futurist that I am, your dear host, the most important person in America, and now in the rest of the, well, Asia, I do believe it is, uh, according to Fairtax.org, more fear is coming. Um, don't be afraid. We're going to see a lot of people that are worried and scared and fearful and they just don't know what to do and they're going to be really, really worried about stuff. They're going to, they're going to end friendships for no reason. Don't worry about them. If, if someone's trying to hurt you, be strong, but don't worry about it. Don't add, don't, don't compound a situation with worry. If, if you've got someone in your life who is genuinely trying to hurt you, get the help you need, take necessary steps so that the person can't hurt you, and then go live your life. Do not fear your opponents. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Don't let people you don't like rent, uh, well, rent, uh, free space. Don't let them live rent free in your mind. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, you know, sometimes drinking water can help, you know, really. I learned that in Asia. If, if you're really worked up and worried about enemies, opponents, people trying to hurt you or, or somehow damage you. If you're really worried about that, sometimes just drink more water. Really? Um, I, um, no, no, I'm, I'm not crazy, George. I'm no, this is Chinese medicine. They'll, they'll talk, right. They'll say you've got a, they they call it an an evil fire, I think is what they mean. It's a dark fire, the yin and the yang and the dark one. You've got too much dark and it's an evil fire and it's usually in your stomach. And avoid fried food and avoid, um, yeah, avoid fried food because it has fire in it, roasted food, use boiled food and drink lots of water. I'll help you calm down. Yeah. I really though, I, I don't know, diet, diet can, you know, stimulate, maybe cut back on the coffee, uh, cut back on the white sugar. Uh, cut back on the caffeine and, and the fried and, and, and try seriously. You can't eat, eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff, but don't fear. Try. I mean, really it's, it's like people ask me why I live in Asia. There is one thing I discussed with my mother when I went back home. Um, Americans are really angry. They're really, really, really ang- the good guys, the bad guys. They're very prone to anger. They've got this fire in the belly. Fire in the belly is good, but America's oftentimes has way too much. You're just really angry. And in Asia, I've learned how much people can control their energy. They talk, I mean, I, I saw I saw a, a medical doctor trained in Western medicine from Asia say, you must learn how to channel your energy. You know, you must learn how to, if you're angry about something, let yourself uh, blow off the steam without punching things or yelling at things. 
and learn learn how to how to how to stay calm. It's a it's a personal uh, stay calm decision, and they do that in Asia, the same place where they tell you that that if you've got uh, if you're too frustrated all the time, you should probably drink more water and uh, lay off on the fried food sugar and uh, fried food carbohydrates and caffeine. So there there we go. Um, you know, fear is contagious, but so is hope. Um, think about the movies that you watch. Think about the people that you talk to or listen to. We need to deal with problems. We need to face problems. We need to analyze things. We need to understand things. We need to find solutions. We need to press on and make stuff work. We need to do this. This is important. But... We need to do it without being controlled by our anger. We don't need to be drunk on our worry and concern and fear. Keep calm and carry on. It isn't keep calm and shut down. A lot of people have trouble with this idea. You know, know, the kid fails in his college courses or isn't going to do a good job probably. And dad starts yelling, what? You failed. You're not going to get a job. How are you going to be able to get a job? Wait a minute. Hold on. Just because the kid failed his test or failed his class this semester doesn't mean that his life is over. Oh, oh, is that it? Is that it? The dad will say, you did. Well, so his life isn't over so he can just be lazy. Whoa, whoa, wait. Knowing that your life isn't over because you did a bad job doesn't mean that you have an excuse to be lazy. Knowing that your life isn't over from having done a bad job is a call to pick it up and to move on, but to be calm when you do it. The staying calm allows you to work better. We need to do this. Um, we need to be honest with what we do. Control ourselves. Now, there, as a side note, uh, before I get into my point, and this is admittedly a segue... But I can't stand it when people say, let me segue into another topic. I don't like that. Segue is how you analyze your own speech. Never, never, if you're going to segue, I told you I'm segueing now. But typically, because I'm trying to teach you how to give a speech. But typically, if you ever do a segue, don't tell people you're doing the segue. It irritates me. That's such a novice mistake, George. When people talk about I'm going to segue into a topic. Uh... More experience is good. Get experience. Do something yourself. When we just delegate, 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 oh, I'll hire someone to do that, I'll hire someone to do that, and then act like a professional, you end up not knowing how to do stuff, and then you don't know who to hire and delegate. Do stuff yourself. You'll be, I mean, a boss who has worked at every different job in the company will have a lot of respect from his employees. And it's not just because he worked the job. It's because working the job made him understand the job. So when he tells the employees what to do, he'll be patient when they have trouble learning instead of acting like everything that he's never done should be easy. Learn stuff yourself so that you don't have guesses and, and, and superstitions about other things. Okay, so that's it, I guess, today. Keep calm. Spread hope. Hope is contagious. Fear is contagious. But so is hope. Hope is contagious. And so is doing stuff yourself. Learn stuff yourself. Don't always delegate. Learn stuff when you can. Learn stuff. Learn stuff. Learn stuff. I'm going to get to the point. One of the most important things to understand is knowing who wants to understand. Time and again, an up-and-coming leader delegates design, manufacturing, marketing, engineering, software development, customer relations, while directing brand strategy in a vacuum from whatever they delegate. Brand graveyards are littered with flowers from copywriters who quit or were fired just before the brand failed. Do your research and find out. In fact, always do your research Work with people who do their own research. Teach people who teach themselves. Teach yourself so good teachers want to teach you. Grow up with people who grow up. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com